<clears throat> yes. Welcome. Uh, it's me. It is, it is me. I. Also, look what's happening down there. We're at the moon. <laughs> I'm playing Carol Space Program. <laughs> yeah. So, um, sorry, I'm a, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit late today. Still, I mean, lots of things are happening in our lives, right? Uh, I'm not the same, right? Everybody's struggling the same, right? Oh, by the way, I somehow I did not get the chat. Where's the chat? Docs. Nope. Did did not give me the chat. Let me let me get the chat. Um, so yeah, today is the Artemis One uh, Moon flyby, and I've been following this a little bit, watching it, and and yeah, it's kind of like a chill thing to have going on in the background behind the chat, I guess. Oh, 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 uh, not, do, do not want to watch me myself. Okay, so how do I get, how do I pop up the chat? Uh, used to be an option to pop up the chat. Uh, nope, that's not the one. Community, oh man, I I'm, I'm feel like an old man. I haven't been using the chat in a while. And so this, Pop out chat, there we go. Okay. I can close this, I guess. Hello. Yeah, okay, that works. Oh man, this <laughs> the contrast is not so great. The contrast is not so great. Maybe I can I can move them in here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> over the moon. The chat is over the moon. <laughs> It's a bit crazy. Um, you have to uh, um, excuse it. All right. Um, yeah. So I'm a bit, uh, running a bit late today, but it's okay. Um, I I want to get done something done. Um, again, I'm kind of like, oh man, we've been struggling a little bit. Our little little daughter has been very stubborn recently. Uh, especially yesterday and today morning and so this like really takes you out um, it's not just like the physical exhaustion but also like the psychological exhaustion like you you don't you don't want your child to be upset but you also you know you also want her like you are smarter than her. You you you've been on this on this board. You know how things work. And so um, some things that might be unpleasant to her are actually only good for her. But of course that's not how she she sees she sees it. And yeah, it's a bit a bit, a bit of a bum scheme. Why, why can I put this on? Oh, oh, because of the other way around. See, that's that's one of those reasons why we have to redesign the wavy line. And we have to redesign mm, the, the straight. And and yeah, so there's three connections that we have to uh, we have to we have to redesign. Okay. Good. 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 <clears throat> okay, so uh, finishing levels. Mm, so this is something that I want to be doing. Like if if I finish the the game, I want to return to the kind of like a level select screen. Also maybe um, maybe show some kind of like oh this is how well you did. You know, kind of like an end screen. I uh, also want to show the level select skeleton. So I want to show something of a level select screen, and also I want to. Um, yeah, I want to think about restart you. I generally, I just like we're kind of like working on the flow of things right now. And maybe a good place to start is here, this screen, um, because it's um, I want it to look maybe more like my original design, and maybe add like um, 
buttons. That would be kind of nice. So let, let's just start on that part. Hey, Master Majory! Um, okay, so I'm gonna open Asprite. That's a weird setup today I have here. Um, right. So in my original setup I had like a shape of mind text and I would love to bring it in. I, I want I, I would love to have a shape of mind text in my game. And so maybe a first step would be just get this shape um, this text out. This text out of Sprite. Let, let me show you the full screen version. So I'm here. Oh. I'm gonna mute mute the the stream. So yeah, the, we we are watching the spacecraft. Dude, oh wait, what? Why? Why it no work? Oh, I have to select this, I guess. I am an RGB, this should work. Fine, and set it to RGB as well. What's the problem? Sometimes Sprite are fighting me. It's fighting back. Um. So <clears throat> that was actually one of the things I was considering. So um, I have like this caption and, and on the main screen and it's good. But always, of course, always the problem like, um, should I uh, create a whole font so I can, you know, um, write other text using this font somewhere else in the game or should this just be this text on a main screen and then everywhere else I'm using a different font. And I, I, honestly, I, I don't know yet. Oh no, I don't want, I want to. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking just for now, just to use, um, just to use, um, the text just on the, on the main screen, on the, on the start screen. Um, but maybe later on, if we find places where we can use the, this, we can, we can think of how to maybe expand this to have it everywhere. It's, it, it will use a lot of the, uh, sprite sheet. But on the other hand, we have a lot of the spreadsheets, so we might be able to pull it off. Um, but it's also going to be a lot of work to digitize all this text because right now I just digitize a couple of letters, but like, you know, getting all of the letters out would be pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, that's something I am mulling over in my mind. Um, but all of the screen designs I had so far didn't actually use um, use this text. I never know how to unselect something. Okay. Let's close this, don't save. Uh, maybe we can put the text in here. <clears throat> let's try. Oh, maybe not, Maybe because maybe there's gonna be more connections later on. Let's, let's just use this lower space. that part anymore. Probably it's probably a smarter way of doing this, but oh well. 
Okay, so let's just start putting down the text here and then we're gonna think about, about things later on. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna put down the text and I can still move it around later on. Shape of mind. Oops. <laughs> it's difficult to get the video from the Artemis cam into the stream. Move everything together. That P. That P though, huh? I, I'm gonna leave it right there. But if we really need the space, we can, uh, you know, create the P with a. Uh, with some SSPR statements. Okay. Um, I'm gonna open, I'd like to open the um, the design I had so I kind of know where, what the placement is supposed to be. I did not export it, so <clears throat> let us me export it. File export. No, no, no let's not export. It. Let's just save as. Uh, I want to save it as PNG. Nope. PNG. Uh, that's good. Yes. Yes. Okay. I have a little reminder of what the what I'm what I'm aiming for. Okay. Um. Now let us try to pull this off. Actually. So this is going to be 096 is where we're starting. So this is going to be in the draw function of the start screen. And we draw, we, we should draw the text first, right? This is PR. Um, 096. 96. Now the width of the entire thing is well, all the way up to here, so that should be 41. 41. Uh, the height. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so this is like 14 pixels in height. And it's just like, let's just draw it somewhere. I don't, I don't care right now, I just wanna see it. Okay, there's shape. Um, let's draw it like 60, f let's draw it like 70. And in, in terms of height, let's draw it at 60. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of it, a bit higher, 50. Yeah. Let's go 45 and then 72. Oops.
Oh, look at this, Orion is turning. No, I think the panels are turning, or the camera is turning. Whoa. Yeah, the moon is really close now. You can see that how, how uh, the, the camera lens is making it all wonky. Also something that I really appreciate about this is you can see that um, you can, this is actually the far side of the moon. This is not, not the side that you see from Earth. You can see part of the far side of the moon. Um, the, the, I think one of the craters of the big dark splotches there. I think these are the Tycho. Uh, it is a Tycho crater. Which is like a very famous crater on the backside of the moon. So yeah, that's cool as heck. And of course, you know, as I probably I will later on watch uh, Probably some people are recording the stream and they will then have some kind of channels that I'm following. They will, uh, they will uh, probably do it like a breakdown and, and do like a highlights of the stream. Hey, the guy who make a game, how are you doing? Oh, look, the, the moon disappeared. Hopefully they will maybe shoot and change to a different camera. Um, 41.96, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 41.96, then the height is gonna be 11, and the width is like, oof. Oh man, it's, it's kind of always difficult. It's always difficult to measure things here in Pico 8. Something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 pixels. Do, 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 do. So that's like 59, right? I hate when they show the... I hate when they show the... <laughs> um, the animation suffer because that's, that's also that's a good example of why you don't use unity for your things <laughs> they used unity to make it and it's bad wait nine i thought something went wrong don't use unity for your stuff kids um they use kind of like unity to make like a web based animation for the Artemis program, so, so we can see like where Artemis is at any given time. And it just doesn't run on my notebook. I just run it and it just completely chucks. Maybe because I turned off like hardware acceleration for my browser, but it's just like, what, what the heck, guys? This should have been tested. It's like bloated as heck, load takes ages to load. Just give me a simple HTML page. Come on, what are you doing? Why do, why do we have to have a, why do I have to have a 3D card? To, to see where spacecraft is right now. Uh-oh. People are asking valid questions and, and the chat is completely unreadable. Let me turn off the, the Artemis thing right real quick. Uh, hey, how, how can you rotate a 16 times 6 sprite if you want to spare Spare some drawing space, so I don't have to draw it four times. Um, you can't. <laughs> you can flip it, uh, but you cannot rotate it. I mean, you can rotate it, but not in a way that doesn't cost sprites. Oh, or, or, like it, it's it's cost. This costs you a lot. Um, you can like read the sprite out, pixel by pixel, and draw it back pixel by pixel, but rotate it. Um, there's, you can, um, if you look for sprite rotation on LexLawful forums, you will find algorithms that do that. They are incredibly slow. Uh, another thing is to do that algorithm and draw the result to the sprite sheet and then later take it from the sprite sheet so you don't have to do it every time, every frame, but then again that costs you um, sprite sheet space. So flipping is your, probably your best chance. So you can just like, Flip it like this and flip it like this. Um, that should, um, yeah, that should cover. Like depending on what you're drawing, that should cover some of the cases. But you can never rotate it. Uh, at least not not with built-in functions. And 
even if the non-built-in functions are again something maybe that's not worth doing. Burr, burr, burr. Hmm. That's better. Wait. No. I think that's better. Yeah, I think this, this is correct. Let's bring back... Let's bring back the... The Artemis. Man, Artemis is just like, what are they doing? What are you doing, spacecraft? What are you? You drank. 5596. Oh, oh, now they lost connection all the, completely. Um, let's go 5596. What? Yeah, 5596? What? What? That makes sense, okay. All right, now we have to figure out the width of that whole thing and that's gonna be a bit tricky. So it's 55 to 85. So it's like 85 minus 55, right? Something like this. Uh, that's 30, okay. And then here we have to go like plus 11. Uh, 56. <laughs> okay. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> 58 plus 11. Let's try it again. Uh, 90. Oh, 96. Nice. Uh, 69, I mean. You know what I'm saying. You know, you know the memes. Mm, I think it has to be a bit further down. So not 69, 70. Yeah, this, this looks looks more right. Let me actually um, check in S sprite. I want two, yeah, I want always two, two pixels of spacing between them. And that seems like two pixels of spacing. Hey, Aichi! I wonder if that's the right position. Mm -hmm. I know, but uh, let me, let me reference, let me reference again my design. So what I wanted to do is, yeah, put it at 52. The correct position for the first letter to be at, oops, uh, 7352. This is what I designed. Seventy-three. And then 52, uh, wait, so 52, that means seven, seven plus seven, right? 52, um, so this is gonna be 65, and this is gonna be 72. Nope, 75, nope, 77. Wow! In a game with shading, it looks so cool. Yeah, yeah, we did that yesterday. I'm very happy about how that came out. Oh man, I kind of feel like maybe, maybe the mine should be a bit further down. What do you guys think? 78? It seems a bit better. 
Yeah, but no. It's... All right. Um, so let's do a pal. Uh, Okay, um, something we might do is, is uh, make some bubbles. How about make some, how about to make some bubbles, huh? So how are we going to do that part? Go function, go to start. Um, have like a start screen starting function. I think that's a good idea. Bubbles equals uh, empty array. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna go for i equals one to eight two. Add um, at bu bubbles mm, x. Ah, oh, wait, that's, that's not good. That's not what I wanted. X equals R and D hundred twenty eight. Y equals R and D sixty-four. Let's, I don't know, let's see. Mm. And R equals mm, let's see. Ah, you really need to keep S Bright open all the time because I'm referencing my screen, original screen design. Actually, my screen design had only two sizes of bubbles, so I don't know, maybe maybe just, just keep that. Um, but yeah, the radius here is a 12. So let's just go R&D. Well, let's just go like um, three plus R&D nine. Uh, let's go 10. For B in all bubbles, um, circ fill B dot X, comma B dot Y, comma E E E fifteen. Wait. That's the color, um, B dot R. Yeah. Oh no, her head is it's not the right shape. I just realized. Let me 
gonna have to fix her head. <laughs> So, common problem with with uh, um, randomized stuff is that it, it looks a bit too uh, too clumpy. Let's just animate the bubbles. B dot X equals B uh, plus plus equals one. Let's see how that oh a bit too fast. Zero point one. And then I'm gonna go if b dot x is greater than 128 plus r. Uh, let's go. No, let's go. Actually, like 13. That's 100. Uh, that is 141. And then b dot x equal minus 13 b dot r equals so we randomize the b dot y equals randomize the radius and we randomize the Hey, ah, the perfect after lunch stream. Hello, Christian. Hello, chat. Visual Studio sucks. Says, um, something in Japanese. Something in Japanese. Ah, Irashaimas. <laughs> welcome, welcome. See that that's always a problem. Like the animation's always a bit stuttery when you're moving things slowly. Um, that's something I'm really struggling with in Pika Eight. Um, mm -mm -mm. Wait, they're they're talking so, about something in in the in the in the NASA stream. Outbound powered flyby in which Orion will fly behind the moon and perform a burn utilizing the orbital maneuvering system engine, which was checked out on Tuesday following launch of Orion atop the space launch system. The engine has been performing well and has completed a series of additional expected trajectory correction burns, and all spacecraft systems are performing well now over five days into the flight of Artemis 1. Today, we're in the white flight control room where flight director Rick Lebrode is leading the team on console for today's flyby and burn. Just moments ago, flight director Rick Lebrode 
Road pulled the team here in Mission Control, and we are go for the OPF burn. We do expect to lose signal of Orion as it travels behind the backside of the moon, as the moon will be blocking the direct sight to the deep space network. We're tracking that loss of signal to begin just about 10 minutes from now at 6.25 a.m. Central, and will last just over 34 minutes. While in the loss of signal, the outbound-powered flyby will take place with the orbital maneuvering system engine at 6.44 a.m. Central. The outbound-powered flyby will send Orion close enough to the lunar surface to leverage the moon's gravitational force and swing the spacecraft once around the moon toward entry into distant retrograde orbit. Following this, Orion will remain in the distant retrograde orbit for one long elliptical orbit around the moon, lasting about six days. That's it. That's the info. Thanks. Thanks. Good to know. Why are you flying around the moon again? <laughs> well, <laughs> they've been there before. No reason to go there again. That's how it works, right? Uh, that's kind of like a nice shot there. Look at this. Oh, you don't see it. No, you do see it. Look, there's a little earth down there at the, at the bottom of the screen. You see little earth kicking its, its, its tiny head out. Mm. Okay, um, when we are drawing... Yeah, here's something we can do. We can try. What what should have what should have happened? Uh oh. <laughs> Woo! Uh, let, let's try let, let's try something like B X divided by one hundred twenty eight. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Artemis 1. Artemis 1 is um, like the spacecraft you've seen is an unmanned spacecraft and it's kind of like they're doing a rehearsal run of their, of their space capsule and they're gonna send astronauts back to the moon. I've been following it because I'm a bit of a space nerd. Uh, and yeah, it looks interesting. Um, okay, so when I create the bubbles, I actually maybe... What is 128 divided by 8? What is that? Sixteen. Okay, let's try that. So let's do like equal spacing. So it's like I times 16. What? Oh. I mean, <laughs> oh, there's there's a moon conspiracy theories there. I don't know if they didn't do it 16 years ago. 60 years ago, then then do you think they can do it now? Like, <laughs> if you're this disbelief them going to the moon 60 years ago, then why would you believe them going now? Where do you even stop the conspiracy? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's a nice shot. Look at this. Oh, they, they've been preparing for this. They've been preparing for this. Look at this. Ah, oh, you see the moon here and that's our little earth right there. Ah, oh, love it. Cool stuff. And of course, this is the kind of like the, the edge of the moon that we, we... This part of the moon we actually don't see from earth because clearly that, that's the earth. And if you're looking from the other side of the moon, you would be able to see this side. So that's super cool. You see how the moon is way gray? 
like very very uniform here because that's what the backside is. Do, 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 do. Super cool, super cool, super cool. Mm, too much. they just forget how to put people on the moon and take them back? No, I mean, it's, it's very expensive to go to the moon. There's not really good reasons for it. <laughs> it's interesting. Studio Sucks B is being really abrasive right now. Uh, 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 okay. Oh yeah, maybe I wanted to also maybe put on a to-do list. Um, uh, bring back hair shading. gaps in between there. I wonder if I can somehow work. I'll work it out. Yeah, and let's fix the head. That's something that we want to do. Oh man, oh, look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. You can see how the the earth will, will there will be a earth, earth down, earth, like the sun, how do you sound down? Dawn. Like no no. Wait, what's the what's the opposite of dawn? Uh, no, that's that's dawn. That's earth dawn. Basically, that's what we're looking at right now. Oh, why it's why it's such a big deal to go back to the moon? I mean, because last time when we went to the moon, we that, that was really <laughs> that was very. Oh man, that looks awesome. Uh, last time we went to the moon, we um, we didn't do much. We just landed and planted some flags, and that was because of the space race. And so there is like no, we haven't built a base or anything. We brought back some rocks. Obviously, they did some exploration, but you know, not much. And so the idea of this new project is kind of like to maybe establish some kind of settlement on the moon, and that's obviously pretty cool. Oh, I think that was the loss of contact. Obviously, oh, obviously it was loss of contact because the Earth went behind the moon, and so you don't have direct communication anymore because the moon is in the way. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. 
cool to, to see those things that you usually had just in Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, I do. I do think you're drunk. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, right. I wanted to fix the head. Let's put a 13 in the background so we can see it more clearly. Yeah, see the head is uh, like a, uh, it's too flat. haven't saved yeah this is, a, this is a bit of a difficult situation here because I have to uh, fumble around with a lot of code but let's 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 try this one what oh yeah right 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 I think this is this is the the face I, I'm pretty sure this is the face So the idea, I guess, is here to, to bring something more closer. So wait, so let me think about this. So this is definitely 12.5 minus 28 is definitely the, the correct second tuple. But the first tuple is something we need to bring it way closer. So something like six and minus 29. Let's try that. That's better. Um, Let's go twenty. Let's go minus thirty. Yeah. Yeah, that looks more better. Maybe maybe thirty two. that I think I think 31 was better yeah that's better oh they did they, they're talking about something get back to the moon and, and this morning we just saw set behind the moon as we take the next human rated vehicle around the moon preparing to bring humans back there within a few years this is this is a game changer absolutely and so we are behind the moon as you said right now and this is important because we have a burn upcoming the OPF burn can you talk to us a little bit about what that burn is the purpose of it and why it's important yeah, the outbound powered flyby is the name of the burn. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, adjust the trajectory of Orion. So as we've been flying towards it from Earth, we're going to loop around behind it, use the gravity to sort of give us a boost. And then this burn will put us into a trajectory that brings us out to what's called a distant retrograde.
retrograde orbit. So this is about a 50,000 mile orbit above the surface of the moon where uh, we can get set up in a stable orbit. We're actually gonna spend several days in that orbit uh, before we come back around the, the um, moon once again and do a, another burn on the return end to bring us back towards Earth. Great. Well, we're really looking forward to that burn. It's now just about 12 minutes away. Everything still uh, go for that burn, which is great news. Now, I think the question on everyone's mind is the next time we do this, we're going to have crew on board. So how is that going to be different or is it going to be different? Yeah, I mean, the crew really puts human in, in the human space flight, right? And that's the whole reason why we're doing this is to get... Uh, get humanity back on the surface of the moon. There's just an incredible amount that we have to learn. This is not like um, uh, Apollo. This is not a repeat of Apollo. What we're going to do and the architectures we're going to be setting up, the locations we're going to go to are going to really unlock uh, a lot of the, the capabilities of the moon, the research on the moon, ability to go explore beyond the moon and, and the solar system onto Mars. There's areas of the South Pole that will uh, have... Um, volatile resources locked ice from 4.6 billion years ago. Last time I checked, the recipe for ice was hydrogen and oxygen, which, by the way, is also rocket fuel, and you can breathe. All right, I'm not that interested. I'm not that interested in, in these, those summaries. It's okay. We're going to have plenty of time to talk about this when, when they bring people up there. 12 minutes until the burn. Yeah, I've been, I've been there plenty of times in Pico... Uh, in, not Pico... In, in, Kerbal Space Program, so that's kind of funny. Also, the trajectory they're using is kind of like really far out, like crazy. Um, the uh, it's kind of nuts the kind of orbit they're going for around the moon. It's kind of like this very elongated orbit. It's not what I I do in Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> I just go, I just like go to a close orbit and just land on the moon. What's the problem, man? But yeah. Okay. Also, I'm not going to be streaming for too long today, so I just want to make sure that that you know that the the details are all set up. This is actually this this brought a lot of this brings a lot of uh, um, life into the into the visuals, so I I kind of like that. Now, um, the next step is going to be to add some uh, things to click on, like start game and um, how to play. Yeah, just press space to land. Let's check your staging. <laughs> it's not that difficult, guys. Let me let me let me take care, take control of NASA real quick. I did it in the Kerbal Space Program. No, but yeah, the, uh, they have uh, like they seem to be doing some some crazy strategies. Also, like the trajectory here is is also a bit crazy. That they do like two burns, so like one burn at behind the moon. Obviously, you have to. But then like another burn to get into the orbit, like weird. Uh, that's not how Apollo worked, I thought. Apollo was more like the way I do it in the Kerbal Space Program, just like breaking at the moon, staying at the moon, and then just leaving. But here's like breaking at the moon and then going out and then, then inserting an orbit and then, and then staying in this weird orbit. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, maybe we can do like a UI tab uh, function. I guess I want to create buttons. And you know what that means. I want to draw a button. Draw a butt, obviously. Um, so we're gonna definitely, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but that's what it is. I, it, I, I'm, I'm not making those rules. It's just what it is. I'm sorry. It's just what it is.
we're gonna wreck fill the butt. <laughs> No, this is this should be this is a family friendly show, I swear. Rectangle fill, the button. Not 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 what you might be thinking of. I don't know what you're thinking of. I, I don't even know what you think. I don't know. Something. Something dirty probably. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> but collide, of course, but but collide, but but click. But, but hover, yeah, definitely something I I'm trying to do. Mm, okay, so here I'm gonna go butts uh, and then we're gonna add butts uh, gonna add a new one. So the location is going to be 96. Wait, no, 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 72 and like 80. So x equals 72, y equals 80. txt equals Ah, we're not drawing them. Okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. We don't have a width and height. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I don't know, something like this. Okay, <laughs> we did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is our butt. Mm. Okay, that's better. Now. The test is not going to be at the x coordinate, but it's going to be at x plus b dot width divided by 2. Yeah, see, that's better. And then here maybe plus 1. Yeah, see, that's, that, that looks good. And then I'm going to get, get the text from the... Yes. Start. It's good. And uh, then the height we can bring out to nine, bring down to eight, bring down to seven. Good. The buttons to be a bit rounded. So, like plus one, minus two. And 
here. Plus one. Minus two. <laughs> More spacing between the buttons. Yep, that's good. Can we do the width of 31 to make it more aligned with the text? That's good. I think it should be a bit higher overall. So this is a bit of an awkward situation. How much higher? That's something I want to find out. Let's do a screenshot. And just like do a bit of a screen design. Can we just, instead of help, do like a how to? Help seems like very broad, but how to play? Hmm. Tutorial? That's a bit too. Yeah, that's a bit too long. Maybe you just make the letters, the, the buttons bigger, huh? Yeah, yeah, we can we can afford to make the button make the buttons bigger. Yeah, that's okay. So I want it's a bit a bit higher. Um so let me make a uh, uh, F6 to save the screenshot. Then we're gonna find out ooh, how much higher we need to put things. Music is off. What's wrong? Oh yeah. Let's do the. Let's do the um, chocobo. thinking one two three four I think that would be good four pixel up five five might be even better four to five okay Uh, I'd also, uh, uh, I also move them a bit to the right, kind of in the middle of the head and the edge. Oh, mm, I kind of like how they hugging the, the side of the head. That's kind of like what's the original design. Um, so they kind of like, there's a, kind of a bit of a center line and it's a bit offset to the right. I've been do doing some experiments with the layout, so it's kind of difficult to convert the layout from the design of the Famicase cards to the PK8, but that worked well. And I don't want to make I kind of don't like that I have to move it up in the first place. Um, I would maybe move the um, the girl to the to the left to create more spacing there. Um, Might be something to try. Let's let's uh, position the, the everything first, and then we're gonna think about what to do later next. 
47, 60, 72. That looks good. So maybe moving the girl to the left, how about that? Uh, let's do like five pixels to the left. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that seems more relaxed now. Yeah, that, maybe that's better. That gives us a bit more space to work with. Uh, I kind of want to move it move it a little bit up as well so like f let's go two more pixels let's see how that looks 58 70 yeah okay let's keep that that's good so now there's like a this this L this this is like a nice and even shape here that's something that I want I was looking for Okay, so let's set up the to-do list for this evening. Um, but button interaction. Yeah, giving him a bit more space, yeah. To breathe, right, to breathe. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, button interaction should be a big, big, big next goal. Um, so we can click on things, we can mouse over things, and especially with also, uh, so first with a mouse, uh, but also then with a keyboard. Because we want, to, as always, we want to have both options there. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining on this stream. Um, this is gonna be it for today. Um, uh, I will go for an evening stream today for sure. I definitely want to do that. Um, so join me this evening for the evening stream uh, where we're gonna do the buttons for sure. And we're gonna continue with the menu uh, implementation. This is starting to look really nice. I'm, I kind of like very positive about this. Okay, so um, yeah, see you this evening. Bye-bye.